Kyrie Irving. Anderson Varejao and the Cleveland Cavaliers arrive in South Florida fresh off their win versus the world champion Dallas Mavericks. Tonight they will strive to keep the good vibes going with back-to-back -back notable victories this time trying to defeat the defending Eastern Conference champion. But as they found out two weeks ago that is no easy task. Bosh got pushed. Got the bucket as well. Three seconds left. LeBron gets it off. And it before the Heat hit the road for six games and ten nights, they know they still have work here at home. We got to come out and play all. Um, you know, they got great guys. Uh, you know, Kyrie and Andy, um, definitely the number one team punch. So, um, <clears throat> you know, we can't disrespect the game at all, disrespect that team. They're a very good team, and they have very good players. They defend with effort. Uh, they have physical players. Uh, they're aggressive offensively. They are top five in uh, points in the paint and layup attempts and dunks. Uh, and they got those against us last game. They play the correct way. They they share the basketball, and they're a tough team to beat. Um, it's going to be a very tough game tonight. Here I am, and it is time for Miami Heat basketball on Sun Sports. Before hitting the road for one of, if not the most difficult stretch of the season, there is a job to do in this building on this night. The Cavs are in town. They're down to bare bones on that roster, but they do have a signature win on the book. LeBron James getting ready to go to work. We're getting ready to give you one of our favorite animations we've ever created. It's the bite of the night. It's a great segment, and there's a great topic. LeBron plays a lot of point guard. Coach Scott played with a point guard that was a big guy. It's the subject of tonight's bite. The starting lineups are brought to you by Cleveland Clinic, Florida. We start off with the Cavaliers. Casper Jameson, Varejao, our South Florida homeboy, Mr. G, and Kyrie Irving. As for Coach Folster and your Miami Heat, you know him, you love him. 6-1 and 5-0. Oh, down low, Wade and Chalmers in the backcourt. He did coming into the season that he wanted to be more effective with his shot. He wanted to attack the paint and the rim more. That's why those numbers are seven points up from his career number. You can go ahead and get down 70 stops. LeBron James at the Cardigans are in full effect. It's all about the Floridians on this night as the Heat face the Cavs next. E. Reed and the coach have the call when we come back here on Sun Sports. A Tuesday night in Miami, a getaway game for the Heat. Miami starts a six game, 10 night road trip tomorrow in Orlando. And this is a getaway game. D. Wade and company don't want to let getaway. In come the 9 and 13 Cleveland Cavaliers. The Heat at 18 and 6 could get off to their best start ever with a win the night through 25 games. Well, the traditional cloud of smoke for LeBron James, who's doing that to opponents routinely. Eric Spolster saying his consistent greatness has now come to be expected. There's Kyrie Irving, the outstanding rookie point guard for the Cleveland Cavaliers. I'm Eric Reed alongside the coach, Tony Fiorentino. Tony, two weeks ago, when these clubs met in Miami, the Heat won without D. Wade and with only 29 rebounds, which was shocking. I think it'll take more than 29 rebounds to beat the Cavs here tonight. The Heat won the fourth quarter, 31 to 27. So the Cavs came to play. They're a little depleted tonight. We'll tell you about that as we go along. But another big game in Miami for the Heat. You know, their first meeting two weeks ago was very competitive. We'll see how tonight plays. Tonight's tip of the game being delivered. I, but he fumbled the ball, and then when he tried to get it to Dwayne, he was, he was already taken. Look out, Dwayne Wade. He was leaking out early. Wade gets his first score on the fast break. Hit ahead by LeBron. What the Heat has done better as the season's going on is start the fast break out of the net. You know, normally teams like to run off a miss or a long rebound. Or a Here we go up. again. Turnover, but the Heat are running off makes and misses. And they're off to the races, and Byron Scott wants a timeout. The Heat have 10 points in the paint already, four fast breaks. They're getting the ball out quickly on makes or misses. LeBron knew exactly where D. Wade was before he caught the ball. And then, of course, he knows what to do when he gets it. Get out of the way, he's coming right into your living room. Which means Ramon Sessions and Alonzo G are going to get even more minutes. LeBron, it 
counts, and a foul. What a drive in rush hour traffic for LeBron James. It also might help the Heat get two for one here with, with 33 seconds on the clock. You, you put the ball up. It's a little too uh, many seconds left to do this, but LeBron saw the opening, gets to the line. If he can play good defense here and get it under 24, they'll get two possessions instead of one here at the end of the quarter. Great burst pass. Lonzo G missed it, has him looking long, finds his man. Oh my. <laughs> when you find that man, you've done your job, and LeBron absolutely crushed it. How about you, D, with the rebound and the perfect pass? Perfect Dan Marino pass to LeBron in stride as he, the Heat capsules, capsules a 99 to 1 run right here to take a five point lead. Outstanding play like you, D. Like you're watching the Heat on Sun Sports. He got, he got it back. And Mike Miller wins the battle. It's ahead for Battier. Good job at both ends of the floor there. Started with LeBron James now with 20. Watch this follow. The flight and then the forceful putback. Oh, he waited just perfect timing. Bosh, nice move. Oh my! A nice move turned into a great finish. Every once in a while. game, that's a season high for Miller. The heater up nine with two minutes to play in the fourth quarter. And Miami's already reached 50 points in the paint. And one dunk by Dwayne Wade. How about 52 points on the paint, gang? Dwayne Wade, fourth quarter's his usually. See it again. Gets by everybody and throws it down. As you mentioned, Eric, heat up 11, 127 left. Fifteen for Bosch, fourteen for Chalmers, twelve points, eight rebounds for Haslam, nine rebounds for Miller. Oh, Udonis catching the lob, smashing it through. Fourteen points now. Came in the fourth quarter, and Udonis now has eighteen fourth quarter points in the Heat's last three games. Hey, it was three for three from the floor, four for four from the foul line, and you know, everyone knows what he does defensively, and he's the heart and soul of this team. Every player you talk to, look at that great. Marino passes, I called it during the game. Everyone knows how strong and tough he is and strong minded. And uh, his offense now is kicking into gear. We know he's a 50% career uh, field goal shooter. And that uh, field goal percentage has not been good to date, but the last three or four games, game, but he made his presence known tonight like he usually does. He was terrific. Nine for 17 from the floor, but four for five in the fourth quarter. 26 points, led all scorers tonight. He was terrific, and he finds different ways to do it. He gets to the basket with the left hand. He gets lob passes. He drives to the basket. He makes jumpers. Forget about it in a fast break in transition. Nobody can stop that. When he's feeling it, you get out of the way. Let him do his thing. One of the great players in the world turned it on tonight in that fourth quarter. Well, the two superstars combining for 50 points. As the Heat, they're going at it. Chris Bosh doing it. Then Rio. Is on the edge. It's trifecta, you betcha. And he's going to show a little handle. And how about a little vision? There's Bashi ripping the net. And then LeBron going to do a little looking and finding as well. Did he even look? I don't think he did. And then from passing to laying, LeBron put it in. He didn't control because LeBron is driving. That keeps your field goal percentage up. Go to the line, make that shot. Oh, for fire right now. Let's go to the second quarter where Mike Miller knows that if we could taste this shot, it would be three licious. Contested and still ripping it. Then Coley Oleo. Where is he? Off the back of Miller. Push it. Shove it. Lay it. Kyrie Irving, he's pretty good. Bet you these guys will be in the uh, group of fellas that uh, Shaq and our buddy Chuck have. For the old the Rising Stars Challenge and then Alonzo G spinning. We need to see that again. Palm Beach Gardens, hello. Speaking of hello, Rio. Tremendous. Let's go to the third where Kyrie is going to lead the break. This kid's play some basketball, man. 
I mean, we, we didn't see a lot of Duke, but I know why they recruited him. Then Rio, off the glass, Bosch in the lane, working, spinning, flipping. That was really nice third quarter action. And now it's time for the Cleveland Clinic floor. Team play of the game. This ball's going everywhere. Miller starts to scramble, grabs it, finds the rebound. Battier's in there, but who finished it? That was LeBron James cleaning it up. That's what you get for the team play of the game presented by Cleveland Clinic. Florida, I need to be healed to the fourth quarter. Miller time. Not just a shooter, he's a basketball player on the floor bumping. Bang. Chris Bosch, he's a running back and a jammer. Let's see it again. So he cups it right here and then crams it right there. D Wade, can I get a pull up? Oh, an up fake and then a pull up. Nice. Get over Terry right there. All right, Terry, you gotta, you gotta squeeze and get small. And then, ba boom. From D Wade, I want it again. As Justin Jackson from Carver Middle would say right now, I'll say it again. Simply, ba boom. But I want to go upstairs with UD. Come on, 305. Oh, you all better quit at somebody's heel. And then, yeah, the square root of nine is three all the time. And Miller knows that situation. I need a box score. I don't have one on me, but I'll read the one that's on the screen. That's incredibly important right there. I don't even have enough gas to get on the turnpike and roll. Once again, our final score, 107-91. If you want to watch today's game all over again, it will air tonight at midnight, again tomorrow at noon, right here on Sun Sports. Once again, our next telecast tomorrow, 7 o'clock. Heat Magic, I'll see you at 6.30 for Heat Live, delivered by Papa John. This has been a presentation of Sun Sports, your exclusive home for Miami Heat basketball. For Eric Reed and the coach Tony Fiorentino, as well as Kristen Hewitt, I'm Jason Jackson. Inside the Heat Battier next, but first, we offer up this final take.